Okay, you guys. I'm going to tell you a secret. Don't tell anyone, okay? Do you promise? I never learned how to ride a bike, and I'm a little embarrassed about it. Listen! I really wanted to learn, just couldn't figure it out as a kid. It all started when I asked Santa for two things. One, a really big dog, and two, a bike. Then I found out I was super allergic to dogs, so I got a bike. My dad had a bike, my mom had a bike, so every summer, we'd all go for a ride together around the neighborhood. It was one of my favorite things to do as a kid. I loved breathing in the fresh air, flying through trees and honeysuckles, and seeing all the little woodland creatures of the forest. And I will forever chase that level of peace. As time went on though, I needed to take off the training wheels and actually learn how to ride a bike. Okay, no problem. I love riding my bike, and of course I want to get better at it, so it'll be no pro- ah! So yeah, it was much harder than it looked. My parents did the whole hold the bike and let go thing, and I got it. Like, I understood that I just needed to learn how to balance, but, 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 ow, ow, ow. Honey, are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. I just gotta dust off my knees and be brave. <laughs> I spent days, weeks, months, years trying to learn how to ride a bike. It took so long, my parents birthed another child. And then he learned how to ride a bike before me. And man, I felt so uncool. How could my baby brother ride a bike and I still need training wheels? Ugh, you know what? No, I am riding this bike. I am conquering this obstacle. I am, ah, I'm falling, I'm falling, mom, mom, dad. Did I mention we lived on a hill? So yeah, I stopped trying. Now, does that make me weak? No. If you judge an illy on their ability to ride a bike, they will live their whole life thinking they are stupid. I think Albert Einstein said that, maybe. Plus, there were a ton of other things for me to try. My inability to ride a bike, mixed with my undying love for outdoor activities, led me to a different vehicle, a scooter. And oh boy, I took those hills back. On our family rides to the neighborhood, when it was time to head home, it was all downhill, baby. I reached Mach 5. And I discovered my true calling, speed. But without hills, I was nothing. I could only go as fast as my one little leg could kick me. And that was just not fast enough. But luckily, this legendary roller skating rink opened up, and it was called Jelly Beans. God rest their soul. It was super cheap to get in. Anyone could rent skates in any shoe size. You could play arcade games and win tickets and prizes. And every hour or so, they do little events on the rink. Like, we'd all do the hokey pokey in skates. It was cool. I swear it was cool. You want to know why? Look how fast I can go. Want to see me do it again? I skated like Lightning McQueen. I was faster than fast, quicker than quick. But because I prioritized speed for so many years, I never learned how to stop. But I didn't care. I didn't need to stop. I was just so happy I could finally go fast without falling down a ditch. I was having fun. So I didn't see this as a bad thing at all. So inevitably, one birthday, I got rollerblades. And I was so excited to skate alongside my family through the neighborhood. But when I got out onto the street, it was a lot different than the roller rink. Hills, potholes, cars, and of course, no walls for me to slam into. Ow, ow! I certainly went fast, but at what cost? This got me feeling really down about myself. I loved doing all these things, but it seemed like I'd always hit a wall that all the other kids got over so easily. At first I thought, oh, no worries. Maybe bikes just aren't for me. Maybe scooting just isn't for me. Maybe skating just isn't for me. And after trying so many things, falling in love with them, and then failing so miserably, I became scared that I simply wasn't good enough to do anything. So again, I stopped trying, but only for a little bit. Sometime in 2020, roller skating got big on TikTok. People were posting about their daily struggles, learning to skate, learning to stop, doing turns, and even doing tricks. And then a bunch of my friends got into roller skating too. Some found they didn't enjoy it, but that's how they discovered skateboarding or longboarding. 
And seeing so many people trying, wiping out, and just laughing it off reignited my drive to try again. So not too long ago, I worked up the courage and bought myself a pair of rollerblades, a helmet, knee pads and elbow pads, and I got back out there on the streets. I was so nervous about starting from scratch again, but you know what? Turns out it's a lot like riding a bike. You never forget. Ow, ow, ow! I've since tried skating on different terrains, I'm learning how to do little jumps, and I relaunched my merch on skates. By the way, I have merch, link in the description. I still haven't learned how to stop, <laughs> but I'm sure I'll get there one day. Until then, thank you for watching my video and go give something another try. You never know, maybe taking a break is all you really needed. And as always, stay safe.